What's going on YouTube? Come back at you another video. So WAC 100 and Blueface doing an interview with No Jumper. And in the interview, WAC was asked about this recent situation with this audio and just basically these comments about Nipsey. I'm going to read you exactly what he said in this interview. He said, listen, I'm not a gangbanger anymore. I've been gangbanging over 20 years. I haven't woke up and hated the crip or seen a dude in blue and wanted to do something to him because I thought he was a crip. That's gangbanging. I'm from where I'm from, and it's always going to be that. I understand gang culture. Gang culture is different from religious culture. It's different from, you know, Jewish culture. Every culture is different. And in that jungle, the rules change. Now, are there rules irrational? Damn right. Are they right? Probably not. But these are the rules of the jungle. It's been like that 50, 60 years. In this jungle, everybody is not for everything. Everybody is not the shooter. Everybody not the fighter. Some are the hustlers. 50% of the people are there to make the hood look deep. Straight cowards. Busters. Nipsey's a rapper. Game is a rapper. If something happens in Cedar Block, where Game is from, Game is not going to be the go-to guy to retaliate on the block. That's not what he does. Everybody don't play the same role. I can speak on it because I've been a fighter. My criminal record tells you I've been a shooter. I've been a moneymaker all my life. In this situation, you have a rapper and you have a dude that's a straight, authentic gang member. His whole life are these blocks. It's all he know. In the culture of gangbanging, if you call someone a bitch or a snitch, a rapist, pedophile, when you call somebody these things in this jungle, it's no different than you being a football player and going on the field without your helmet on. You're going to get hit. So Wack basically doubling down on his comments. He also talked about the fact that somebody from a media platform had hit him up. This is where the whole conversation came from. Asking him, you know, about the Nipsey, what he thought about Nipsey or whatever the case may be. And that's where that original unheard audio that we actually haven't heard yet. But um, that's where it all came from was apparently Wack was on a conversation one on one talking to somebody. Somebody recorded him. And then they started saying that they were going to put it out there. You know, Wack responded based on the fact that, you know, clearly he um, he knew he had this conversation. He knew it was going to get out there. So he jumped in front of it, put you know, addressed it to an extent. Um, I've always maintained the position of if somebody said it in their personal life, they didn't publicly mean it to be out there, then it kind of changes things a little bit. It doesn't change the fact that of uh, you know how that person feels now you know exactly how they feel but if they didn't publicly put it out there um you kind of have to hold it to a different standard in my opinion that's just my thoughts on it but whack again speaking on this whole situation he's not going too deep into it but he is explaining that nipsey in his eyes is not a gangster like that so let me know what you guys think in the comments i appreciate you watching Hit the like, subscribe, share, leave some feedback. Make sure you ring the notification bell. Appreciate you. Peace.